Okay, question 9 is really all about differentiation from first principles. So, Craig is investigating the gradients of chords of the curve x minus x squared. Each chord connects the point 3 uh, minus 6 to the point 3 plus h f of 3 plus h. The table shows some of his results. Part A asks us to show how the value minus 5.1 has been calculated. So, the value that we're looking at is this guy here. Now remember, Gradient is difference in y over difference in x. So the y coordinate of um, the original point is minus 6. It's f of x, f of 3. So we got minus 6 minus the other y coordinate. Now the other y coordinate is f of x plus h, which is minus 6.51. So we got minus 6 minus minus 6.51 and then that's over the difference in x. So 3 minus 3.1 So up on top uh, minus 6 minus minus 6.51 is minus 6 add 6.51 So that's going to give us 0 0.51 and on the bottom we got 0 0.1 and uh, no we don't we got minus 0 0.1 and that does indeed give us minus 5.1. Cool. Part B wants us to complete a third row of the table. So, let's do that. Okay, so in the third row, we are using H is 0 0.01. So, X add H is going to be 3.1. 0, 1, f of x plus h, well, that's going to be 3.01 minus 3.01 squared. So we're just substituting x equals 3.01 into the function. And that's going to give us minus 6.0501. Okay, and then the gradient is going to be Uh, minus 6, minus, minus 6.0501 over 3, minus 3.01. Stick that in your calculator and you should get, uh, minus 5.01 So don't forget to put it in the table So minus 5.01 Cool Part C asks us to state the limit suggested by Craig's investigations into the gradient of the chord as h tends to zero So Back to the table. 
So the gradient as h is decreasing has gone from minus 6 to minus 5.1 to minus 5.01 so it seems to be tending towards minus 5. So that would be our answer for part C. Okay and then for part D we want to use differentiation from first principles to verify that our answer for part C is correct. So we are given the formula for differentiation from first principles, should be on screen. So we know that f of x is x minus x squared. So f of x plus h is going to be x plus h minus x plus h squared. So we've got x plus h. Now it's going to be minus x squared minus 2x h minus h squared. So, df by dx is going to be the limit as h tends to zero of Alright, so what we've just worked out, x plus h minus x squared minus 2xh minus h squared minus f of x, so minus x and add x squared. Okay, now that is all over H. Okay, so this is the limit as H tends to zero of... Okay, so the X at the start cancels with the X at the end, so this one cancels with this one, um, the minus x squared cancels with the positive x squared, so we are left with, we got h, uh, minus 2xh, minus h squared, all over h. So we can cancel out that factor of h. So this is the limit as h tends to zero of uh, 1 minus 2x minus h. Now as h tends to 0, 1 minus 2x minus h tends to uh, 1 minus 2x. So, df by dx is 1 minus 2x. Now, when x is equal to 3, df by dx is 1 minus 6, which does indeed equal minus 5, so our 
Francia for C is correct. Go. Hello. Oh yeah, sorry.